Welcome to Solutions Studio. This is a free series on C programming language. If you like these videos, please subscribe to follow along with this series. Also, please like and leave a comment and share the video to help spread this series. Hello and welcome to this episode and in this episode we have another exercise which is the sum of digits. So write a function that takes an integer and returns the sum of its digits. For example, given the number 7631, the function should return 17. That is the sum of digits 7 plus 6 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 17. Go on and try to solve this problem and come back to this video for the solution. Hello and welcome back and this is the solution to the problem that we discussed about. I would like to have a little bit of explanation for this solution. First, as you can see, we have the prototype of this function, which is the sum of digits and this function will calculate the sum of digits. Then we have the main function. In the main function, we have declared a variable called number, which we are going to use to store the number that we, we are going to get from the user. So, we have prompt for the user to enter an integer number, then we are using scanf to get and store that number into this variable, and finally, we print a message to the user that the sum of digits of a number is going to be another number. Obviously, the sum of 7631 is going to be 17, and we have the message in here. So, let's go and see how the sum of digits this function works. This function takes in a number, then it initializes this variable called sum, which it's going to use to store the sum of digits. And then while the number is bigger or equal to 10, that means that while the number is two digits. If I put a comment in here, that means that while the number has two digits, then what we are going to do is that we are going to find the last digit on the right side of the number on the right side of the number and we can find that by dividing the number by 10 and get the remainder so for example if we have a number 221 so for example if we have this number and we divide this number by 10 and we get the remainder the remainder is going to be 1 so we have got this last digit from the right side and now that we have got this last digit, we are going to add this last digit to the variable sum and we are going to make this number short. So we divide this number by 10. So when this number is divided by 10 and obviously this number is an integer, then one of the digits of this number is going to be cleared and omitted. And finally, this loop is going to happen as long as the number has two or more digits. When it becomes less than 10 that means it has one digit then we directly add the number to the variable sum and finally we return the sum and that's how the program works let's go and execute this program let's use this example 7631 as you can see the sum of digits is 70. let's try something else we will use something like this and as you can see, the sum of digits is 2. And that's it for this episode. I hope this has been informative for you. And I would like to see you in the coming episodes. Stay tuned.